to be able to get at this um, spine liner. And because the conservator who did the job didn't use any adhesive at all, it's making my work extremely easy. So, there we go. Comes right away. So now you can see um, more clearly how the work was done. It's actually very, very carefully done um, with the intention of having it being completely reversible. Um, so the spine liner was sewn um, through every gathering so that they're all more or less secure. Um, so at this point, um, all I'm going to do is to slit these threads um, and then gradually release each um, choir one by one. This is uh, a later, you know, restoration, or it could be from, you know, from this binding, but not 12th century, definitely not. But who keep all this? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. I keep everything. Okay. <laughs> so who keeps the modern strings separately from ancient strings? Yeah. yeah, well, it's easy to tell the difference. So I'm just going to make a little tracing of the sewing holes as they relate to each other. There's lots of holes here. Oh, yes. Can you see these yeah, holes? I yeah. Do. So those are holes from other mm -hmm. sewings, and you know, these line up. Okay. You know, these line mm. up there. So so th these relate. But then there's another set of holes here, which um, could also be the end band holes. Mm 